Hello interwebs and welcome to another unboxing. This is Loot Crate. Um, some of you may remember the previous Loot Crate video that I did, which will be linked in the description, um, which was covering the entirety of Loot Crate's deliveries from February 2016 until January, um, which was 12 mainline boxes and two extra boxes that I bought. That was all covered in one video because I was supposed to be doing this on a regular basis and couldn't get around to doing it, so I did it all in one go. This is, as I stated in that video, the box that arrived only a couple of days after recording that video, typically enough. So, um, as you can see from the, the, the here, I have unboxed it to have a little look at what's in it, but I am not going to... I've not really gone through exactly what's in it yet. Now, I will say, um, I'm going to I'm, I'm gonna have to bring things closer to my face on this video in order to identify actually what they are, because I've been to the optician today um, in relation to my ongoing ocular problems, and they put drops in, which means I can't see shit. Um, so with glasses on, I can see nothing. With glasses off, I can see things close up, um, roughly. Um, so I'm doing this be today. Uh, I'm doing this primarily because I'm bored, because I've been sitting on my arse all day doing absolutely bugger all since 11 o'clock this morning when I got back from the optician. Uh, sorry, from 12 o'clock this morning when I got back from the optician. Because I can't do anything. I can't focus on one damn thing. So I'm doing this. I'm just going to struggle to do it, but I'm going to do it anyway, and I'll probably edit it tomorrow, so you'll probably get this Thursday or Friday, um, or tomorrow if I can get it done. Um, so yeah, Loot Crate, February. Um, the big thing you see from the outside of it and is that they've changed their logo. They now have a new logo. Um, I can't remember what it was, uh, but now it's this. So that's fine. It's a good little bit of branding. I like it. Um, uh, right on the top of the box is still the same. You'll notice there's a, as opposed to my last videos that I've done, you'll notice I've got a more reliable lighting system. It's brighter and it doesn't cut itself out every now and again, which is cool. The camera seems so far, from what I can see, hang on, I'll put the glasses back on, see if I can see the TV, yeah, it's a little bit clearer. Um, not as much pixeling, I've noticed, um, on this video so far. So I'm, I'm wondering if it's a light source thing that was causing the problem before. But this seems to be a bit more stable. So hopefully we're in a good place. So let's see how things go. So let's open the damn thing and see what we've got. So we'll open that as far back as I can get it. So I'm not entirely sure what the theme's meant to be. Um, but we do have this loot bot thing. So I'm not sure if it's uh, robots or that kind of thing. Um, T-shirt I'll come to in a second. Batman food container by Zach Designs. Um, Loot Crate exclusive. Well, I'm not surprised. You see the reflection of what's on there, can't I? Um, all right. I'm not confident, so let's have a look. I'll open this up. Take it out of the box. Put the box back over here for a moment. Okay, as it says, let's put that on there. As it says, it's a container. It's a Batman, what looks to be more like a Batman Lego face. Uh, Zach design stuff on the bottom there. Um, it is very Lego esque. But then it is a it's a Batman face. It doesn't have any lo any Lego branding on it, which is odd. I'd have thought with Lego Batman movie this was going to be a tie-in thing, but it doesn't actually say anything anywhere on there about um, Lego. So, hmm. Okay. And obviously, then it's different enough that it's not going to cause any copyright problems. So it's supposed to be a container. Let's see what it's like inside. Well, first of all, it's not going to be any good for anything liquid because that's not a water site, watertight seal. Oh no, wait a minute, it is, it is. That's rubber, but it's not particularly well seated there, so I'm not sure if that's going to be a watertight seal or not. But it might be. And inside, well, we haven't really got much room at all in there. If you look at that. Um... 
yeah so that'll do for the occasional biscuit or perhaps some soup but is it microwavable can't see because the logo's on the bottom and I can't focus don't microwave is that what that says do not microwave so it's not even microwavable so okay that's probably the least practical thing I've ever seen in my life um, it's possibly watertight so you can put liquid in it but you can't put soup in it and heat it up because it's not microwavable I wouldn't say that's going to be drinkable from because that's going to be a big gap to get your lips over and the big seam there means it's all going to splash around the sides and dribble down your face so I wouldn't put liquids in that food wise yeah you could put sweets in it I suppose you put your skittles or your M&Ms or your chocolate chunks in there or whatever washable hmm I'm not entirely sure about uh, how useful that is let's see what we've got here I'm going to read it temperature limitation 14 Fahrenheit it's not even in we're in Britain it's not even in Celsius so whatever that might be in Celsius 14 Fahrenheit fuck knows what that is BPA free that's good do not put in microwave or freezer okay double wall insulation keeps food warm or cold for longer periods of time okay so you can put hot stuff in it and it'll try and keep it it doesn't feel particularly I mean that's pretty soft plastic it doesn't feel like it's particularly insulated I don't know what's got inside or if it's a vacuum or what it doesn't appear to be very expensive I have no idea what it's going to cost um, insulation works best to preheat well that's, that's thing I'm not going to read all that because it's you, you can I'll put it there and hopefully you can see it you can freeze frame that if you want to read it quicker screw tip Tell me how to screw it on, so you know you can also tell my grandmother how to suck eggs if she was still alive. Um, but it does say put it on, put the lid on backwards. Make sure it's level. Okay, that's not level. How do you make sure it's level then? You just guesswork. Hang on, hang on. that's that's it. We're level. Okay. And obviously the thing is line it up but that how far more does that go that goes a little bit more so that's not even tightened all the way for it to be level um right okay i wouldn't use this for liquids i wouldn't use this as a thermos i wouldn't use it for putting hot liquids in to keep warm i wouldn't use it for putting soup in it's supposed to be a what looks like a kind of mini kind of flask um i'm not impressed um oh there's the pixel in again I'm not impressed at all. I'm not entirely keen on how that is. Um, it might be used as a storage vessel for sweets. That's pretty much all I would suggest you use it for. You can probably get a packet of Malteser in there, packet of Skittles, packet of M&Ms, maybe one of the big ones, but probably one of the standard size ones, or something healthier like nuts or whatever. Um, but I wouldn't suggest it's properly airtight. I'm not confident in the airtight seal because there's still some play in that lid when it's lined up. If you want it to be airtight, it would probably go to about there which then ruins the design so that's a gimmick that's a gimmick I would say not impressed sorry Zach designs but needs work it's the most impractical practical merchandising thing I've seen for a long time but I'm sure somebody will like it I'll put that out of the way just now let's look, let's look at the t-shirt now I'm going to switch to the other camera for this um, because just because really where is the other camera there it is hello um, yeah this is this is the recording setup what do you think so we have a t-shirt I know that when I was doing this on the hour long video that the setup wasn't that great but doing the t-shirt reveal so I'm going to go to the external camera and show you it on a full screen so there we go poke my head around so I can see it I'll let you see it first then I'll have a look at it myself I hope you can see all that so what is it then let's see 
is Transformers was that? Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Oh my god. Of all the things in my world that I hate the most, Power Rangers is one of them. My brother absolutely loves Power Rangers. Absolutely loves it. But he's not my size. This is a triple XL American size T shirt. He's not gonna he's not gonna fit in that. It's gonna drown him. He'll be using it as jammies or a tent. I mean, you can see here, I'm not exactly a small person. He's a lot smaller than I am, height-wise and width-wise. But, um, it's a nice t-shirt. Hang on, just let me put the camera back on. It's a nice t-shirt. Um, it's, it's the right colours. You know what? I might actually wear it. I might wear it around the house. It's not something I think I'm going to be wearing to a party. Or anywhere where I want to be taken seriously. So, maybe Star Trek convention or a... Some kind of sci-fi convention of some description would be the place that would go. But this, oh my god, jackpot. That's a jackpot. You might know that a couple of videos ago I reviewed the uh, Knight Rider Lego Dimensions set. But this is one of the uh, one of the older sets. Um, one of the ones that's kind of been phased out. Not phased out as such, but it's one of the ones that kind of goes with what you've already got. So because you've already got Batman, you've got the Batman world, so... That's sort of fourteen, fifteen pounds worth of Lego dimensions there. That's not bad. That's good. It's Lego. You know me and Lego. Anyone who knows who's looking at this channel knows what I'm like about Lego. Um so that isn't bad at all. I'm I'm happy with that. So the T shirt is okay. The T shirt's pretty good. I like it. I, I like it apart from the subject matter. That is amazing. That's cool. I don't care if it's something that's already part of the game. It means I don't have to worry about getting um additional bits and pieces on the game so that's okay uh power rangers loot pin again the loot pins are cool i like them and it unlocks something epic apparently gone to that but uh, we'll see what that is but yeah that's your loot pin and that's pretty much it what's this tetris flexible magnetic sheets <laughs> that's not bad i like that that's a fridge magnet of doom that is i like that I've got oh, I've got me I've got me whiteboard, haven't I? That's going to be quite good. That'll go with the whiteboard quite well. Um, yeah, I like that. That's cool. That's neat. And oops, there goes the pin. A postcard with a new logo on. With some writing on it. Hang on. Thanks to support from looters like you, we've built Loot Crate from a small garage-based company to what it is today. Oh. We're celebrating our fifth anniversary this year with a new logo, designed to be like a window into the world, stories and characters we all love, uniting all our crates under a single brand. We can't wait to build even more great memories with you. We love you, Chris and Matthew, co-founders of Loot Crate. Oh, thank you, Chris and Matthew. I love you too. Send me some decent shit. <laughs> um, and that's it. What's this? Hang on, what's this? Secret Order of Keys. Unlock the mysteries. One interesting missing thing from here is the book. There's usually a little booklet that goes into what the gifts are. But there's nothing. Nothing! Okay. Instructions. Unfold box and lay flat. Carefully cut out the parts with dotted lines. You tap the dotted lines in the middle of the robot arms. It's a robot! The box turns into a robot! Oh my god. Oh my god. That's pretty cool. I'm not going to do that though. Because it's a box at the end of the day. I'll put my stuff in it just now. So, um, in short then, yeah. Order of the keys. Not sure what that is. I'll have a look at that in a bit. Um, Loot Crate postcard, say thank you, we love you. Always good to know that somebody loves me. Tetris block, magnet sheets, pretty cool. I like that. That'll go on my pin board. Lego Dimensions, woo -hoo -hoo. I don't care if it's an old one, it's a good one. And it's a neat, it's actually, to be honest, it's actually one I've thought about buying in the past. Um, because I like the cyborg figure, because it's a cyborg and I like cyborgs, surprisingly. And I like the little cyber guard as well, so that's pretty cool. I actually like that. That's one I would have bought at some point. Um, so I'm happy with that. Order the keys, I'm going to have a look at that later. Pin fell on the floor, and Power Rangers t-shirt. As I say, Power Rangers, not my thing. Power Rangers t-shirt, 
it looks good. I like it as a t-shirt. Um, and our, our, yeah. Sadly, the biggest thing in the box is the tattiest thing in the box. Um, yeah, you always get honesty with me. I'm not subsidised or sponsored by any of this stuff. I'll give you honesty. In fact, even if I was being sponsored by someone, I'll still give you honesty about what I think about their stuff. So be warned, if you want me to do any publicity for you, I will be honest. And if your stuff is a bit bad, I will say it's a bit bad. If it's utter tat, I'll say it's utter tat. But if it's awesome, I will say it's awesome. Lego. Lego send me stuff. I will review it and say it's awesome. Give me money. <laughs> I'm only kidding. Uh, no, no, I'm not. Give me money if you want. That's fine. But yeah, so that's not bad. That's one of the better loot crates. Um, I'm going to find out what this Order of the Keys thing is. Uh, I'll have done that before this video goes live. Um, but other than that, fine. I'm quite surprised there's no book. I was quite I was quite looking forward to getting the little booklet. Cause I, I quite like that. It's like always a good little read. Um, but yeah, there's, there's no booklet. Mm. So, yeah. I hope you enjoyed the review. Um, I'll do another one next month when the next one comes in. And until the next video, take care everyone and cheerio. Alright, so I did find out what the uh, secret of the Order of the Keys is about. Secret Order of the Keys, whatever it was called. Um, and it's a kind of reward system. It's You get a series of puzzles and essentially you, you join you join and you log into your Loot Crate account and you've got the uh, the membership screen. Uh, you do the initiation, it just tells you what it's all about, and as I say, you get a various amount of puzzles basically based on what's in your box. Um, you work it out, uh, you get six challenges in this particular box, I don't know how many, if it's going to be six for each one, if it's going to be just six for this one, maybe a different number for different ones. Uh, but essentially you have to use those um, things in your crate to try and solve these challenge puzzles. Um, once you complete one, you get as part of the way towards getting your key, and uh, as you carry on through there's a lot of different puzzles you can do you've got a set date to do it by uh, which uh, gets you extra stuff in your loot crate for the next delivery which is pretty cool so um, it's just that it's a variety of different puzzles I mean they're all different I mean based on the ones we had this time we had something to do with the Pantheon uh, which you use the Batman cup uh, the Batman bowl whatever you want to call it the really bad thing um, to measure across a uh, to measure across a map uh, and find all the different letters, put them all together, uh, and then you have you can use your Tetris blocks for three different things. Your Tetris magnets for three different things. The first puzzle is a decipher drop game board where you just basically try and essentially fill in a Tetris board, work out what the three the three numbers are, the three letters are, uh, and then put them into a phrase. You use a T-shirt design. No, you don't really use a T-shirt as such because obviously it's a bit difficult to use that. But there's a a little puzzle you can do to make a thing and then again you use your Tetris puzzles um, to create basically 3D ones uh, so you, it's like a bit of card modelling which I always like uh, and you can put together all these different things and uh, it all spells out words uh, and you type those words into that box on the main screen and uh, if you're right it tells you you're right if you're wrong it tells you you're wrong and you fill up all the boxes so there you go um, not a bad idea. It's a bit of fun. I'll do it at some point soon. I've, I've done a little bit of it until my eyes started to hurt. So, uh, yeah. They're, they're a bit of fun. Um, is it a gimmick? It's a bit of a gimmick, but then it's a gimmick that is, is getting your reward at the end of it. It's getting you something extra, some extra stuff, which is always a good thing to have. Um, it does make me wonder whether the stuff that's in your box is more design, more leaning towards the... Uh, the puzzles than the actual content but I don't think so in my head I would kind of think that what they're doing is they're building these puzzles around what's in the box and so it's not going to be it's not going to dictate what you're going to get in your box so that what the box has is going to dictate what the puzzles are and how many things you need to do so I think it's a good idea we'll see how it goes I'm going to keep the loot crate boxes going for a while anyway so we'll see how it goes okay thanks for watching